Are you having trouble determining which J Butler loafer size is right for you? Then this video is for you. What's up everyone? It's Nicholas from Quintessential Gent. And the goal of this channel is to help guys be the absolute best gentlemen they can through learning how to dress well, good manners, and continually improving. At any time, check out the links and show notes down in the description below. Shopping online for shoes can be difficult. It may also discourage you from considering a brand you haven't bought from before. Truth be told, it's hard enough to choose the correct size when the shoes are right in front of you. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some tips and tricks for how you can choose the correct shoe size online. Let's start out by taking a look at the J Butler website. You can browse around the website, but then click on a set of loafers that you like. Just below the Add to Cart button, click on the Men's Shoe Size Guide link. This table shows some sizing information. Scroll down below the table. Here, it says, Gentlemen who wear a wide width shoe, we recommend sizing up a half size. Let's take a look at why that guidance is given. So what's the difference between the 11 and 11 and a half when you have a wider foot? Here are the size 11 loafers. As you can see, the section where the loafer narrows is tight and my toes feel cramped. Now with the 11 and a half, there is more room for my toes because the point in the loafer where it narrows is further from the hill with the half size up. Now let's take some measurements to show the details. On a blank sheet of paper, we start out by tracing around the foot. To measure the length, you will start the edge of the tape measure from the heel to the toe. My measurement is 11 inches. Next, we will measure the point where my foot starts to narrow, right around my third toe. Measuring from the heel to this point, my measurement is 10 inches. Finally, my measurement at the narrowing point of my foot is 3 inches. Let's take a look at the shoes. On the size 11 loafers, we measure 10 inches from the heel. At this length, we then measure the width. It is about 2 and a quarter inches. On the size 11 and a half loafers, we again measure 10 inches from the heel. This measurement is about 2 and 5 eighths inches. Now let's double check our measurements on the bottom side of the loafer. We will start out again with the size 11, measuring 10 inches from the heel. The width is two and three quarters inches. This is a little larger due to the width of the sole. On the size 11 and a half loafers, we again measure 10 inches from the heel. As we can see here, the width is three inches. Knowing your measurement, and the measurement of these loafers should be enough to help you feel comfortable when choosing the correct shoe size online. Now down in the comments below, let me know if this type of shoe sizing video is helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And until next time, always keep improving.